we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big sh- Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? No, 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 I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. I mean, our Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, you name it, we're on it. But if you want to see our visuals, you got to hop on over to our YouTube channel. There you see all our visuals, exclusive content, only if you join our membership. And y'all always see us on the street and be like, we love you, we love what you're doing, keep pushing. Well, that's how you can help us to keep pushing. Join our membership. And there you'll see all the videos way ahead of time. Thank you in advance. Man, hey, man, listen, man. My guys here, y'all. Hey, man, stop the press, man. Brown is in the building. Hey, Money man, Minds up, ENT, man? man, is in the building. What's up, E, man? How you doing, man? You family, so you know. The, hey, listen, I just, I, I I called you when I was I got on the plane. I was like, man, I'm heading back to Texas. But I wanted to call and tell you I done put your name off in the mix up Jim, there when I was on with, with Lefty Gunplay. Yeah, Lefty Gunplay that. asked me, he was like, who in Dallas, man, that, you know, that rocking with that music? Yeah. And I told a nigga, I was like, man, uh, Brown, that's who I mess with, you know. If certain niggas got certain niggas they mess yeah, with. Yeah, like, yeah. and the one thing about me, everything that I did ever since I started, I did mention Flex and Fab, but I don't think he Hispanic, really. But at the end of the day, I mentioned yeah. him. But, but, but at the end of the day, it was like you was the one that came to mind because that's you who I mess with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now he didn't say producer, of course. You know me and uh, Prophecy Films, we cool. You know because yeah, he yeah. been on here too. Yeah. You know, but and when he said, I didn't say George. George had just called me too. He called me while I was in back. I gotta call that nigga back too because there was some stuff he wanted me to do on the radio. But at any rate, man, um, I just thought about you, man, because of your work ethic and God put you in my life. So yeah, I was I like, man. It. That's who I rock with, you know what I'm saying? And you hard, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So Yeah, that, that was some people were sharing and tagging me. And I, really? Oh, yeah, that's my boy E, man. <laughs> <laughs> so so they so they know it. They know it in LA yeah. for sure. You know what I'm saying? Like that thing going up too. It's probably up to we did it yesterday and it's up to probably thirty now. Mm-hmm. It's up to thirty thousand. It's moving. So you just flew in back from over there? I just got back yesterday. Oh, okay. But I, I had left. I've been up there on the West Coast for almost like Probably like eight days. Really? Yeah, I did. I did like twelve in uh twelve. Well, I did like ten in in L. A. And then I did like five, six in uh Vegas. Oh, for real? Yeah, interviews. That's a lot of traveling, man. I bet you be moving around. I do a lot. it every six months. I do it every six months. Ever yeah. since I started this, even the first year. So I, I did that because I wanted to make sure that everybody knew about Boss Talk One Hundred One. Yeah. I'm not the big guy like everybody else. I'm. My show's not syndicated like these other guys. Yeah. But the people who I deal with is special. So for me, we building a whole movement. Yeah. And people like you, uh, people that have been with me ever since I started, I value that. Mike Jones, you know, he yeah. came early too. Um, you know, it's just uh, Trill Talk, No Peel Talk. Uh, all these guys came early. It was early to the, you know, yeah. to the, uh, uh, my boy C.O.P. as well. You know, I, I reached out to him early on and, just a lot of them, just a litany of guys, Smoothie P- Poppy, uh, uh, Little Running Mother Elf, yeah. Half Paint, you know, uh, George Lopez over there at Tea Town Music. Like, all these people came early before it was popular to come on Boss Talk, like yeah. yourself. You know what I mean? The setup was raw from the jump. Yeah. We had a good setup from the yeah. jump. So I didn't nah, come half stepping. Because when I first came on here, when like after it was done, I was like, man, they, they made it look like a uh, breakfast club, <laughs> man. <laughs> Hey, but, but you make it look good. That's that's good for like the image. You know what I'm saying? That, that's it's, good. It's something that I feel like you deserve. Like if you a person that really, I always go the extra mile in what I do. That's why you see the different re- remodel, the way Yo. we change it up. You know, um, this wall. I just took this wall down, put it up now a couple of times. For real? Yeah. So I always <laughs> do stuff to try to make you know make the show better or just make the store better. Yeah. It's a business. We've been here 18 years, so that's a long time. At this very store, yeah. right? damn. So you know what I'm saying, so I knew you was like up for a long time, but I ain't know like at this this location. Yeah, right? I had a lot. I had a, more stores, but this store has always been here. Yeah, you know what I mean. So the first store I did was in East Texas. I did that first, just as a just like a crash run, just yeah. to make sure I could do it. Then I came to Dallas, and this was the second store. Then we did Terrell. Then we did uh, uh, Murphy. We did two in Terrell. Where you had it in Terrell? At? I had it one in Terrell on 208 on Rock Wall Street, right in front of Sam's store. I had that. It's a barbershop now. 
It yeah. used to be a, it used to be my store. And then I had another one in front of Taco Bell that bought, uh, Unique Fashion was right there. I, I remember that, was my that store. one. I yeah, remember that, that was one when I was a kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been out years now. Right, beside like, right the across the street from Taco Bell. That's yeah, right. right beside it, the car, t- car title loan and then the... Yeah, um, yeah that was <laughs> my store. Like, yeah, it's the car title loan facing more, but y'all right. was like facing yeah, that's right. towards that tax thing. Yeah, yeah, office, right? yeah, 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 yeah we were right there beside y'all. it. Yeah, but that's the whole game. Like, we've been doing retail forever. Yeah. So, you know, God been good to us, man. And and so we we started this podcast when COVID hit. And right before COVID hit, I put the stuff in here. Then COVID hit, and I had to stop for a year. Then I came on with it after everybody started, you know. Yeah. They started letting us. But I came out early because I was like, I'm going to get it while these niggas scared. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I remember that stuff, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to get in here and do it early. So we're going to get into it, man. I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about the music, man. Like, I seen where you and Mexican OT did that first song a year ago, right? Yeah. What was the name of that song? Uh, nah, I'm right. Yeah, yeah, that whole hard, bro. For sure. Like, and I, I seen it back then, but, I, you know, he didn't have his buzz either at that yeah, time. Yeah. Like I caught that. him for it. He was already uh, moving up. Now but, he was moving up. But, but I caught him right before he really, he really, really blew. Up, you know what I'm saying? Well, that was because... You gotta realize, me and B Done, I was already hanging with B Done. I did it, B Done, them about a year ago, didn't he? Yeah, him and G Luck, yeah. and that you know the one that helped manage him, and they were telling me about him, and they kept telling me we gonna do it. That was before he even he didn't have you know they was it just took off. Yeah, and I still call him every time I call to answer the phone. It's big respect, you know what I'm saying? But just getting him. Last time I talked to B, he's like, man, I'm getting him over there. Don't even trip, man. I promise you, it's, he coming. Yeah. You know, we need to get him over there before they start moving again because they got another new project about yeah. to come out. But it's like, how was it working with him for the first time when he was younger like that? Uh, when, I, when he was young in the game, I'll say. Well, man, like the first time, I, I never really, like we got a song together, right? But we ain't never really like uh, built a like, one-on-one good relationship like we never really talked I went through uh, the CEO Greg cause I had inbox on T I guess he never uh, like you know how they can't see if it's like a message request I guess so I ended up hitting uh, Greg thinking he was the manager and he you know he replied to me <clears throat> she gave me a number and you know I jumped on it or whatever I tried to get more for a better deal but you know there, there was you know stuff on the price they had cause it was a good deal and uh, yeah, I, I was dealing with him, you know. Uh, that that's how I, I did the whole situation through Greg. You know what I'm saying? Then yeah. later on, I found out he was the CEO. I didn't know that. Wow, yeah. wow. How big was it though? Just like how was it? Even you say y'all didn't really talk much, but just doing a video and and just interacting. Nah, on the video. when they were there, yeah, he humble. Like he cool. You could tell. Like like he he cool. You know what I'm saying? He humble. humble like guy. he want no Hollywood. Like because I had to go to Houston to shoot that the first time. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so, like, I really was just there to get his footage, and I was going to shoot another scene later on in Dallas, you know what I'm saying? So I was on some man, look, bro, I just need your footage. He's like, man, we can be here as long as we need to do the finish the video. But that ain't no, I was just going to shoot another scene back in Dallas, you know what I'm saying? He, he thought we were going to do it right there. But now nah, he cool, you know what I'm saying? He well, wasn't trying to rush nothing. Easy to work talk with. Talk to you, like, yeah, he cool, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and you were about your business. You were getting to it. Yeah, yeah. So it was really like like a business thing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But still, and then it is business. You yeah. got to think about that. Everything That's what people forget about sometimes. You know, the more you make it business and, and the more you put into it, the more you'll get out of it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Like if you treat it like anything, it's not worth nothing. But when you treat it like business... Then and it's okay to be cool with somebody, but at the end of the day, business is first, yeah, right? Business is first, you know what I'm saying. And if you build a relationship after that, then you know that's just you know even better. But you know, business is always just business. You know what I'm saying. Let's talk about you losing your voice. Uh, and the last interview we talked about it briefly though, but you was challenged with the fact of just trying to build your vocal cords back up. Oh yeah, yeah like yeah. what was that? What was that like? She. I don't know. You didn't know if it really was going to come back I all the way? I kept going to the doctor. They were saying, like, there ain't nothing wrong with your stuff. But I'm like, well, why, why is my voice like that? So I guess it was just, like, a uh, tour or something down there. Yeah. Tour or something. Yeah. Because I lost my voice. I mean, I couldn't even rap for, like, six months. You couldn't Seven even months. rap for rec- six months? I started recording, but it sounded like a deep voice. You know what I'm saying? But it was working, so I just jumped back in it. You know what I'm saying? I got a song called... In my bed with D baby, I got a D voice at that. That's when I, st- you know what I'm saying. It, that was that was one you my and him did. Yeah, I had like a ho- horse voice, whatever they call that stuff, yo. 
in, in in my bag. How was it doing that with D Baby? D Baby is one of the hot ones too. What? Because you got you got to understand, and people can't say you don't just you don't just work with Hispanic guys. I've seen you work with brothers. Man, I've yeah, seen you work more with brothers than, with than Hispanics, Sturs, right? Quinn and FM, OG Boo Boo Black, Yo, Black. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Nah, I, I, man, I, I fuck with everybody. You man. do, and that's the cold part about you, like. And, and you, but you are hustling a lot of niggas. I told you that every time I called you, you got something new going on. Yeah. You take it serious, bro, and that's what I love about you. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, but but how how is it like working with D Baby? Like I'm, and the reason I said that because when you think of Houston right now, these guys are really top of the like list. Yeah. When you think of artists in Houston, so how was that? Well, like D Baby, uh, I he cool too, but I really and we I don't really know him like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh. I know somebody that knows they people, and uh, cause I ain't bothered them too to this day. They ain't even looked at it. You know, they didn't even look at it. I guess it's message request. You know, yeah. I don't even see stuff on my stuff too. Yeah, but like um, my partner know they partner type stuff, and they linked us up, and that's how that happened. You know, what wow, I'm saying? man. And and how do you choose who who you gonna work with? Man, on the cool man, like. I got a partner that that's you know locked up. And, you know he he always. Looking, I remember him. Yeah, my partner Tone and all. He always looking man to see you know what I'm saying. Like he got his eye out on like new artists. And he like hey look bro check this dude out man. He go hard man. He you know what I'm saying. That's how I was with D Baby and Mexican OT. I was trying to get D Baby before he started taking off like way before it just he ain't seen. I ain't, I wasn't plugged in with nobody he knew. So, but your boy already told you about it. Yeah, so he knew, you know what I'm saying? So just knowing somebody that knows somebody just linked us up, you know what I'm saying? And shit, I sent that money and you know, like we, we went to work type shit. You don't mind you don't mind saying, hey man, let me get with them. It's gonna cost me this much. I'm gonna go out here and I'm gonna get this verse and I'm gonna make sure to keep the craft right. Man, well look, the thing is like I believe in myself, so it, it don't scare me to invest in myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like on this last song I did, I put both of them on the song together. You know I what seen I'm that. I was gonna get into that. Like, like that's the part where it really made me trip out because I didn't really look at it until after I spoke on both of y'all, all three of y'all name on that Lefty Gunplay. Yeah. And so I spoke on Lefty Gunplay, and I was like, "Yeah, D Baby hard. Yeah, Mexican OT hard because he he a Hispanic, so." Yeah. But him being Mexican, I was like, man, I gotta. He was asking me about like who the hard Hispanic, who the hard Mexican in 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 Texas. Yeah. And I said, man, D baby. I said, but I said Brown first because yeah, you I connected to I me. You know what I'm saying? I said Brown. That's who I rock with. But D baby hard Mexican OT, but they in Houston. You know, oh. but he was asking about Dallas. You know what I'm saying? And so since me and you, you know, I, I know what I know. So it's like that's who I rock with. So yeah. that's how that happened. But. D Baby is one of the ones, man. That his stuff, his sound gritty, boy. I like the way he rap, boy. It sound gritty. Yeah, he be putting like soul. In, he be putting soul into his <laughs> that shit. That nigga sound gritty, man. You know what I'm saying? And so I, I love that, man. Like, like this is this is dope, bro. Like, would you ever work with like any of the OGs up there, like Slim Thug, Kiki, and yeah, those guys? Yeah, shit, yeah, yeah. But ESG, right now, you know right what I'm saying? Just trying to, like, yeah, yeah. Like that's because you know I grew up on that Slim, like the whole switch house. Yeah. That shit. It's just, but right now that like, I'm actually rapping too, I like it's good. But I probably would like invest more in, like somebody that's 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 that, that's uh currently got traction going. You know what I'm saying? The think? ones who who because you knew I'm, and upcoming. I'm gonna benefit from because like you know what I'm saying. You just want to catch who's in motion at the moment. You know what I'm saying? Correct. That's why you work with those guys because they're yeah, basically yeah, like you coming up. Like yeah. I'm trying to go with where you know the eyes are on them. So I'm gonna hey get get on the song. You know like. The way I got them on the song, like, first I got D-Baby on the song. I so you got D-Baby first? First on the song, yeah. I didn't even say nothing. I got, then I got OT on the song. I didn't even tell them nothing about neither one. Well, you it's business for yeah, you. Yeah, so you you're buying you buying the yeah, verse. So, so it was nobody's business. Yeah. So like you know what I'm saying. So like, but at the end, you know what OT I had to do a contract. So like I had to expose my hand. Yeah, he on the song too. So boom, we had to write a contract. Wow. Because I guess he's in a part of a major label or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mixing OT sign. Yeah, so. Yeah, like I had to get the song cleared and all that. <laughs> yeah, it changed now. This yeah. time, the first never, time you didn't have to do like, that. There, there was some like somebody that I had to do the the, the step. How so, hard was it, man? At first, I'm like, damn, like you know what I'm saying, like. 
you know, I had a call Grill, like, hey, bro, they, they telling me I need y'all, I got an invite, and he explained it to me, and I was like, oh, okay, he like, yeah. And that's the CEO. Yeah, yeah, so he mad, like, yeah, he always kept, like, he always picked up or whatever, unless he was just, like, busy or something, but he always hit me back, like, hey, what's good, bro, or whatever, but, like, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? I like that, man, because it seemed like, you know, and, and you know how I am, I'm going to throw God in there, to be honest with you. Without God, nothing is possible. So for him, I think those doors open, you know, for you for a reason. You're yeah. the first artist that I've ever seen put D-Baby and Mexican OT on the same song. Yeah. I don't know if they got another song together, do they? I think they're on like a, like a cypher rap thing. Or oh, they're on a cypher like deal? Houston with Houston rap. I don't know if it's a cypher or just the song where everybody's rapping. But uh, yeah, I think I think it's it's on it's some part two or something. Really? Yeah, I don't know the exact name. So Paul, I don't know, but you know what I'm saying. But uh, I guess I'm the second one. You know wow, what I'm I like that man because I love the song too. It's called Fuck It. Yeah. What made you name it that? Shit, that's how I start out the hood. Fuck. I can bug it and go. Hey, I don't go with it, buddy. <laughs> Too many colors inside of my cup. Look like a rainbow. I want some better things. You want the same hoe. <laughs> that don't be going, yeah. man. I loved it, man. The, just, the, just, the way that that vibe is going and y'all coming in that whole hard too, boy. Yeah. That what niggas don't realize. Everybody got their own sound, too. Everybody like, got their own shit. style. All y'all styles different. Style, three different styles. Three man. different styles. Yeah. Y'all all sound different. Y'all Neither one of y'all sound alike. Yeah. And I think that's incredible to even put that together and make it make sense uh, like that. You know what I'm saying? So sure. so what's next? Shit, I'm just keep recording and dropping video. I, I, they but just but you gotta, you gotta push this, this damn song oh, is yeah, hard. Yeah, we I'm gotta gonna, keep pushing that thing. Nah, I already know, yeah. I'm gonna keep uh, marketing that, but I'm gonna keep recording Of too, course, like, you, you know always keep hustling. Yeah. That's the whole game for you that you always keep See, hustling. I, I like going in the studio, you know what I'm saying? Like that's, that, It's just... It's like I like rapping, like you know what I'm saying. It's like it's it's a passion. I have fun. Like I don't go in there and try to make it work. I go in there and have fun. You know what I'm saying. But like it's like, she. That's just what I like to do. You know what I'm saying. I'm gonna keep making music. You know what I'm saying. Because I listen to my stuff over and over and over until I get tired of it. And I down there record some music. You know what I'm saying. That's just how I am. Have you ever? Let me ask you this. Because Big X the plug been going and doing this thing. Have you reached out to Big X anytime? Nah, not yet. But I'm gonna tap in with him. I think he was U90. He got a distribution like with him. I got a song with him. He do? Yeah, my partner Hermes. Yeah. Yeah, I like to see you and Big X uh, link up because I know he'll do it. You know, yeah, he go saying? hard. He go hard. He he been on Boss Talk, man. You know, it's been a minute, but at the end of the day, like when you and I didn't see you for a year or so, or we, you know, it, it happens like that because y'all be busy and I get it and I be busy. So it's like, damn, like I like to see y'all on a song together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying for Dallas for show. Sure, you know what I'm saying, and you already improved that you you rocking with the best. So yeah. you know what I mean. I love the fact that you out here working and grinding. You know what I'm for saying. Sure. But what do you, who do you look at now in Dallas other than yourself uh, in the Hispanic community that's jumping? She, I mean, it's a it's a lot of people like that. I see be doing them. Yeah, she, that you that you that you see. Oh, uh, I know Levin. The uh, Levin, him, he he man, he be doing numbers. Young OG, Young OG. But I ain't really heard too much new shit from Young OG. But uh, he go hard. You uh, know. I forgot to mention Baby Youngin. Baby, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Baby yeah, Youngin, I interviewed him in California, but me and him, gonna we're going to run one back too. I'm going to bring him back on the show. Because yeah, yeah. I never interviewed him here. I interviewed him in Cali because he had moved to California. It, it, it's a mold, man. I just, shit, I just don't be out there. Like, I, I really just be joining to myself. Bro. You always That's, been like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm, you always, I always been like that. Like, I, I listen to other stuff, but it's like I'm, I'm picky, you know what I'm saying? But it, it's a lot of uh, artists out there doing their thing, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's just some more, more at a different level than others, but you just got to keep uh, mashing on the gas, you know what I'm saying? You got to. See, if they don't want to look, tap them on the shoulder, look, check me out, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. You got to go around and make noise so people can look at you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like I, I love the fact that you you ne never stop. You keep striving. And that's Man, I ain't gonna lie. I fell off, like, uh, last year. You know, I, opened, I had opened up a truck business. You did? Yeah, like a, like the hot shots. And I was running, like, I ain't know nothing. I just, I ain't getting information. I just bought, bought a truck. I had a driver, and you know what I'm saying? And it was really stressing me out, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Then, like, it was, man, I had got it. I got about it there, Was bro. it some money in it, though? No. Yeah, it was, but, you know, I ain't really had no connections in it, bro. You got to think about it. I, man, I don't know nothing about no driver. You know what I'm saying? I just... 
Why the hell would you go buy it? You wanted to learn it. Yeah, and I learned it. I did it. I was doing it, but it's like I ain't really had no connections, bro. Like I'm working off a low board. I'm dispatching myself. I'm doing everything myself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you're yeah, a hustler. Yeah, like I. It just. I can't rap and run that business. That one thing ain't. I gotta let something go. You know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> So like yeah man, you tried it up. Yeah, I tried. It was stressful. I ain't gonna lie, <laughs> but I'm I'm gonna always try to some shit. I, 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 I'm me. with it, man. I'm with it. Yo, here you go. I got a question. So, um, where you get your your chains from? Uh, India the jewelry. He uh he worked at a jewelry shop at the Tiny's Mall. Mm hmm. And uh, he uh yeah he got that, but he got these made from two different other people. Oh, okay. Yeah yeah. I like the gold, really. I, I like the, the gold chain, the big gold chain that you Dude, have. Yeah. Yeah, because I see a lot of people wearing gold chains, and some of them, that one I can look at, and I'm like, that's real, like, good gold. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, like, I mean, I'm always wearing the same chain that ain't faded yet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I jump in the pool and everything with them all. Yeah, well, oh, no. I like it. I think, it. I think that's that's important I, I, because I wouldn't wear nothing but gold. You know how yeah. I am. A lot of people wear platinum or whatever. I, I can't do it. I don't see nobody wearing platinum no more. Oh, they, they got silver, platinum, yeah, or whatever they got on. Yeah, they yeah that, what them niggas do, man. I, man. I was interviewing Lefty Gunplay, man. He talked about the... Uh, his his style, you know, he did nine years in prison. Yeah. You know, you did. How long did you do? You I did. did five. You did five years in prison, and he was telling me about their laws and the way that their rules was in prison. I told him about a Johnny Sack. You know, we yeah. gonna know about Johnny Sack. Yeah. He said they bring their food to the window. I'm like, they don't do it. Yeah, I guess like if you lock down. He's like, yeah, we got room service on. Where was he? Uh, on Pelican, on Pelican Bay. Pelican Bay. For real? Yeah, I was like, really? I was like, Texas laws and Texas, you know, we we probably we got we got more prison in this state than any other state. Mm -hmm. You didn't know that, did you? She, you can only imagine, right? We got a bunch of them. It's 163, I think. Yeah, I googled it. One yeah, day. I ain't never really counted, but man, I know it's a bunch of them. <laughs> they <laughs> everywhere. She, and, I was in a few of them. <laughs> <laughs> So, but but the prison system is different up there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nah, they, it's like a whole different. I it's a whole different got, world. Yeah. Like, and and the thing is, like when you see, like even him, like when we was talking, like it was like, man, I didn't even realize that comparing the Crip Mac comparison, he don't he don't like that. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Absolutely. That's the first question I asked him because that's what people saying on the internet. Like, cause and I don't think it's because of his rap style. His rap style is dope. I told him I was gonna link him with you, but. I think it's because of how his impact yeah. is. Like everybody looking for this nigga, man. Like yeah. when you go on the internet, you went on there and looked. That nigga everywhere, he got ain't he? That charisma. That nigga everywhere. Yeah. He know yeah. how to I talk. Said, yo, like I, I see more of his interviews everywhere than like even his music. I, I want to go check him out. You know? Yeah, what I'm yeah. Because I didn't know who it was, and then I <laughs> seen I like. Nah, I went to check him out. You know what I'm saying? But his music is good. Yeah, I yeah. like his music. He got one song that one that he got the Ice Cube beat on behind that whole jam, and I was like, I think I heard that one. That yeah, was yeah, yeah, I put yeah. it on the on the on yeah, the clip. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I think, and I think that's what really that's what Boss Talk is about, man. I'm trying to make sure everybody know everybody, everybody, you know, mm -hmm. jiving. You know what I'm saying? I think a lot of time that's how you get more exposure. You know what I mean? Yeah, when, just being mentioned, just being mentioned, and then doing it everywhere. You know, yeah. we set up in Cali and everywhere, so. Vegas, uh, Atlanta, Houston. I, I did AD in Houston. Mm -hmm. I did Be Done in Houston. You know, a lot of them Houston guys. Are uh, oh, you you interviewed propane? Be Done too? Yeah, mm -hmm. all of them. Propane. Uh, every look, he was yeah, just I here. Seen that one. Did look you like that one? Yeah. That was the first one with this banner behind him too, wasn't it? He was the first guy we interviewed mm -hmm. with the banner. This banner behind here, because yeah. I knew it was gonna change the look. But I was like, I don't know, man. Dang, we got to do. You had one other person before him, but you didn't put it out yet. Really? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Well, I got to figure out who that is. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so, man, like, what What do you do, man, on a day like today, man, for fun? Shit, for fun, shit. I just chill, stay out the way and try to record, you know what I'm saying? That's it, you just yeah. stay on your music. I though. be trying to enjoy my freedom, bro, you know what I'm saying? How is it, like, after after getting out, you know, no more count times, no more, you remember count man, times? Man, I love that shit, like. <laughs> <laughs> I, be that freedom like, or something else, Yeah, yeah you don't really get no personal space in there unless you, like, in sales or something. That's right. Like, I heard, like, I could, if I choose to get away from I can go to my house or something, left, left alone. And then like you, you it's not avoidable. You know what I'm saying? Like you gonna hear noise all the time. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. How hard was they? Did do you speak Spanish? Yeah. 
How hard was y'all on people? Because I remember some guys in there that didn't speak Spanish. Y'all kind of hard on them. Man, I don't care if they you speak Spanish. <laughs> some people hard just on them niggas, man. It's like some people just was raised, their parents spoke English and Spanish, in Spanish. but more English, so they kid, they talk to their kid in English. You know what I'm saying? Like, my sister, she speaks Spanish and English like I do. Her kids, like, they, they, they speak English, but the, the girl, Sadie, she talks to my mom in Spanish. You know what I'm saying? My mom, my mom taught her Spanish. So, so she making sure she, she know. Yeah, some people can't help that somebody didn't teach them Spanish, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but they come in there and them and now, them. it's different when they know Spanish and they just be embarrassed to speak Spanish. Right. That's, oh, what, I'm that's like, what I was thinking, because you have some parents who prefer not to teach their kids Spanish because especially when you're an immigrant and your no. kids are born here, they feel like they don't want their kids to be um, profiled or whatever. Yeah, they like want they, it to be yeah. like American. I embrace that shit. I speak Spanish. I talk to my mom in Spanish. We spoke Spanish in my house. I talk to my brothers and sisters in English, but I talk to my mom in Spanish. Wow. And I think that's 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 commendable because that's your culture. Yeah, yeah. Really do. You know, I was born in Mexico, so, I mean, it's a point in time, I ain't know no English, you know what I'm saying? At all. Yeah, but I was like, shit, three or four, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> that was a long so time So that's ago. your first language. Yeah. First language. So so you you just talking about your friend that's locked up. I remember the first show we ever did, he was locked yeah, up Tom, here. Free Is Tom, he ever man. getting out? Yeah, shit, but they gave him 30 years, but. Damn. I, they be changing laws, so, like, I think he said they, they because some laws they changed. They they well they knocked off some points. I think they knocked off like three or four years or something. I don't, I'm not sure, but something like that. But How they, do you keep his spirits lifted up? She, I, I just be chopping it up. Keep some money on his yeah, books. Like you know, I can, I can be there, but you know what I'm saying. He also know he has to be like in the mindset, you know, and accept it, like you know what I'm saying. But you know, he gonna, he gonna come home one day. You know what I'm saying. What um, what is his uh, I mean, is it in, in no way it could be overturned. Shit, he went to trial, so I, he can go on appeal. It's just, it's a process. All of that's a long process. Like, they got a high conviction rate, but they say they got a high rate of people being their trials. They're just going to have to go do five, ten years till they get that, or, or hit, hit when they appeal or whatever. Explain to me, how was you guys connected? Like, what what was the, how did you guys become friends? Because uh, he basically, he was a part of Money Minds NT. Yeah, he yeah. Was a, did he start it, or did he? Nah, look, um... So me and him are from Terrell, right? Of course. So me and him, like we we had the record label called Four Twenty Records, and Terrell is where Jamie Fox from. Yeah. So then, like we ended up, you know, messing around in Dallas, and we Four Twenty Records. Yeah. So we How about to squeeze some. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So like we ended up meeting uh some dudes in Dallas or uh, Jade on Capone, you know what I'm saying? And they had they stuff going, and we ended up coming together. We made money miles. Me, Jado, Capone, and Tone. And then uh, eventually, you know what I'm saying, Jade on them had their cousins, like Susie on them, you know what I'm saying, it was all money money or whatever. But that's how we started it, you know what I'm saying? And uh, shit, it's just been a while. Are they still Are they still down? Nah, it just, Tom, he money mine. Susie just got out. Uh, he's still money mine. Jado doing his own thing. And uh, the Capone, I ain't even talked to him in a minute, but I'm pretty sure he's doing something. But everybody kind of just went their own way. You know, it's just me, really. You know what I'm saying? You really rep it, just still rep it. Oh, yeah. Can I get a money minds change? She, we can get you. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I know we for sure we can I get mean, you a shirt, I need, though. I need, <laughs> I, need that, I, need, I need that chain. I need, I mean, me, I need yeah. me a money minds on this boss talk. I'm finna put on mine. Man, let me get my M's up, man. <laughs> I'm gonna put a chain on you, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, because that thing glistening over there, man. I, was, yeah. I got to get me one of the money minds chains. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. These, these are uh, rubies. These ain't even diamonds. Well, these are diamonds, but these these are rubies. Rubies. Yeah. The rubies is, and, and that red rubies. Because that, that's how my logo is, so you know what I'm saying? With the red on it, like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, that's hard, man. Like so, and they did that one over at the spot you was talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they had to, they had to send it out. One, I did this one first, and then later on, I just got that one made. Yeah, upgraded to the bigger one. It's brown, but you know, later on when I when I level up again, I'm gonna get them both redone. Redone, you know? yeah, yeah. Yeah, I probably just get it uh, to the artists under me or some shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, I'm gonna go give me. Have a you got one. new artists already or no? Shit, my Slim Ghost Boy Slim. Yeah, 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 yeah. He with me, but uh, other than that, uh. I had uh, Isaiah King with me, but he ended up getting married, you know what I'm saying? Oh, so, so you know, and marriage that, took him out. Yeah, I, you know, he doing the family thing, uh, you know what I'm saying? So you got to just respect that. I'm just, yeah. you know me, I'm going to do me. 
You always gonna do yourself, man. Yeah, Yeah, that's hard, man. So, all right. So to be real with you, like you didn't tell me how when he (coughs) how did he end up getting locked up, the homie Tom? Yeah. Uh, uh, he he got put in a conspiracy case. Okay. And so they know, call him on conspiracy. It's hard to be the conspiracy case. Yeah, guy. she uh But how did he end up he, you say he went he took it to trial? Yeah. That way he can't that way he messed up at. She man, they're they're gonna try to give you a lot of time regardless. Regardless, you know yeah. So I mean, I don't know, he just she took it to trial. Yeah, and was what was the maximum sentence on it? Man, I don't really know too much. You don't know too much. Was I, he was you locked up when he went? Nah, I was up. I was up. Jeez. You ain't gotten out. Man, I was at my house. And you turned. lucky you didn't get caught up in there. Man, I couldn't. I, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know nothing about what you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Know what I don't know, you know what I'm saying. So yeah. they came on my, knocking on my door. Uh, and they were like, they were telling me in Spanish, hey, uh, the FBI got out on Tony. You know, he was saying the FBI, and I'm like, Psst, the FBI? He's like, yeah, but it was the DEA. Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. But they was they had came on and hey, they they taking your boy to jail like that. So yeah, this but was that, like, but the thing is, if you think about it, man, God God had a different plan for you. So did that make you want to go with the money minds ENT thing even harder? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Did that man? I kind of felt lost for a little bit because Tom was always the one on the hooks. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah, been yeah. Writing, but I used to write. Right? He be, he was the hook one, so you know he was good. So we like we just gonna keep him on the hooks. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So when he got like like I could do a hook, but I I, I wasn't really like confident in hooks. So like, but I step my game or shit. But yeah, I, yeah, I, I shout out his name all the time. That's my boy. That's like you, my you have to because yeah. he, he he really he love the brand. Man, hey, he yeah. probably harder going for it now than that's, he ever that's did. That's like one of my biggest supporters right there. Of course, because he got he, enough time. He gonna support me. He gonna get on my ass when I'm doing wrong. If I'm slacking, he gonna do everything. He I'm want like, that music to keep going, don't he? Because <laughs> that's what he in there. He thriving on that. When he locked up, he like, man, that's my that we money mind. Man, yeah, because he ain't telling him. I guarantee you. Well, that's a piece of him too, shit. Like we are, we've been sacrificing a lot for 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 where we are. You know what I'm saying? Like it just, you know what I'm saying? It's like <laughs> no, I guarantee you, he and that. He when you locked up, you got time, bro. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure he and that thinking that thing through for real. He got extra time. His mind is concentrating yeah, on money, minds, ent. Period. No games. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no games. So shout out to Tom, man. You have to send me, give me his address too. I'm going to write him. Yo. Boss Talk got to write him. I got, I got to just get, text me the address. I'm going to write that nigga. I got you, man. That's what I do on Boss Talk. That's what makes us different. You know? Hey, y'all still making them shirts right yeah, now? Yeah, she make them. Man, that, they look professional. But what, what, what size you wear? Large. See, I should have had him on the Boss Talk. Go get the Boss Talk for me. Let me put it, he put it on right quick. Yeah, he got, yeah, it's red, though. I you? still got the other one do I bought, wear, too. Do you yeah. wear red? He has the other I got, one, I, The one that I got from y'all last time was a black one. That said Boss Talk one on like that. You don't even wear it. I ain't nah, giving you that right another there, I'm not mad. putting it on. We I ain't got a picture yet, bro. Man, I, I, I just need to take more pictures. I'm ain't saying nothing. I'm going to get another one on it so it'll be crisp and new. And yeah. I'm going to put it on my tag. I'm going to put on some uh, pictures and I'm going to promote it. No, j- go get the other one for me. You got it in here? No. Was in the truck. Go get it. We put, yeah, put that, it on you right now. That look, nah, we doing it right now. Right nah, there. the other one hard too. Go get it, Steph. <laughs> no, nah, hell no. Nah. We gonna get nah, you today. You put it on right nah, now. I'm gonna put it on. Yeah, we got. We ain't gonna play with you, man. Cause you, you, you boss talk. Yeah, yeah. Man. I had one on deck for you. I had already told my wife. I said, man, bring me that. Then I tell you that. I said, I think that nigga yeah. might be a lord. I was like, I'm gonna make sure really? today. What? <laughs> I already had it in my mind. It's in the truck right now. She going to get it. Appreciate it. Cause I wanted. I was like, man, we gotta. I gotta put a shirt on him. The thing you gotta understand, man, is 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 you family. You yeah. boss talk, man. You text that yeah, yeah, yeah. Go and put that on right now. You boss talk now. Oh, hold on, yeah, take care. Yeah, hold on. That nigga boss talk now though. Yeah, we got him. We got, we got his ass. We got his ass. We got his ass today. Yeah, he gonna be no running today, nigga. It's boss talk time, nigga. Yes, I, I, sir. I, I there you go. That's gonna go with you. <laughs> you know. Yeah, nigga. I, yeah. yeah, yeah. I got him today. Go and pull them chains out, nigga. Let's go. Money Minds ENT Boss Talk One on One Connect. Did you text? I got Nike there to go with this. You do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want my fresh picks back, nigga. Don't run, don't run off with my picks, nigga. <laughs> we got it. One on one. Hey, man. what a bosses talk, man. Nah, we always gonna show love, man. Like I said, I just know, man, that with what we got going, man. You know, you been here with me from the jump. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Look, look, you got in early with me. 
I knew already I, it was certain people I was going to be working with, you know, to keep the process going. The only thing I say is we just got to do it more. Every time you come out with a project, you got to holler at me because you be standoffish as hell. Because you done did other songs. You ain't called me or nothing. You just out here doing music Man. and moving on. This nigga does that, don't he? Mm -hmm. Do music and moving on. They just shot me this other video. See what I'm saying? But I, <laughs> What's I, that? You just did the video? Yeah. Uh, I shot this one like three weeks ago. What's the name of it? Cut Off. And you gonna put it out? You ain't put it out uh, yet? Oh, not yet. Probably, uh, shit, probably like in the middle of next month or something. Middle probably of at least about the third week. I want to get this last video sometime, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, y'all, that, that, with you and D Baby and uh, Mexican OT. Because, look, I, I really been recording. I got a bunch of songs. I just ain't been dropping them. Yeah. I want to drop everything when I'm dropping videos, but uh, every now and then I might just go ahead and drop one just for the, you know what I'm saying? So they yeah. can stream it. But I've been trying to stay lined up with some videos. So the video help help it keep, uh, promote it more. You know what I'm saying? Everybody gonna click on the video. You always, like I say, you always working. That's what I like about you, man. And I always, I'm always support you. Yeah. No matter what, you know. Once I locked into this thing, that's just how it go. Long as you willing to pull up, we willing to kick it. And if you out of town or something, or if you need me, I'm always here. Like I always say, you know, me and you, we we go back now. It's been people that done got on the show, you done sent over and all kind of stuff. Yeah. I really don't do a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Like the extra extra unless you got something going now because it don't make sense it's like if you ain't working a lot of people call me they be want to get on the show but then you go look them up it'd be like they ain't even pushing yeah. you know what i'm saying you got to be working and and then they'll say oh he acting funny it ain't like that it's like if you're not working then it's like it's gonna bring the algorithm down if yeah. i put you on here because you ain't nobody looking for you and and i'm out here grinding and i'm traveling and i'm putting up money Trying to make I, show. I don't like when I do a free verse and they don't even do nothing with it. See what I'm no, saying? It's stuff like that. Then it'd be like a hard verse. I'm like, bro, I could have just put that on something else. There you go. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean. Yeah. That mean that the work ethic ain't matching up. So you yeah. wasting, you know, the word of God. Bob said, don't cast your pearl before swine. So you got to be careful how you get these gifts out when God blessing you, bro. Because yeah. you'll mess up your own vibe, your own nah, rhythm. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm Being saying? Around, oh, bad energy, too. That shit contagious. Yeah, know. it is contagious, man. So when you look at the way that, you know, uh, Dallas is, what do you, who would you, next, who would you like to work with? From Dallas? She probably like Big X. That's who. The, that's who would be the yeah, guy. Yeah, cause he hard. Like I ain't gonna lie, he hard. Yeah, he, he hard. definitely hard. Then you know South Dallas Kiki, she go hard too. Oh, that's already know. been a couple. That's been a couple. You know, I gotta see get in the studio, see what it do. You know what I'm saying? But now nah, I definitely finna uh, tap in with her. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna be hard, man. Yeah. That's why I told her as soon as I seen it, I, I try to line y'all up close to each yeah. other so y'all could meet. You know yeah. what I mean? So so that y'all will be able to vibe. You know what I'm saying? So y'all link up. That's what it's all about yeah. for me. I appreciate that's what, you it. You know, too, because man. I know already. That's going to be epic because a lot of people watching her and then a lot of people watching you is just going to keep the rhythm going because y'all both working. Yeah. It makes sense. You know what I'm saying? So other than that, man, what else you got for my boy? It's Brown. Not much. So, Brown, man, like I said, man, how can people get a hold of you if they're trying to uh, rock out with you? Man, uh, you could just Google me. Uh, everything is Brown Money Minds. Uh, I'm getting my chain right. You yeah, already said. I, yeah, I got you, man. The nigga say he gonna get them M's. Oh, and I'm gonna come back on the boss time one. I ain't even say no more. Hey, you remember what you? Boom! Oh, <laughs> man, what? What? Why? Why? <laughs> but uh, what were we saying? Just talking about the, the where how people can get a hold of you. Oh yeah, Brown Money Minds like Instagram at Brown underscore Money underscore Minds. That's a M I N D Z. You've been so, working at YouTube. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You been yeah. pushing it? Yeah, everything. It been going up? Yeah, everything, yeah. And my Instagram's starting to go up, too. Instagram going yeah. up as well? Yeah, it's grown, you know what I'm saying? You the one, like I said, every pro every time I see you working, you always put out videos and stuff. You always do visuals, man. I love that about you, bro. Because you get a, a better reaction out of videos than just dropping audios. I'm yeah. not saying that you ain't going to move, but videos going to speed up the process. Yeah. Video going to definitely speed up the process. The, the video is basically going to make people see you more. Like I said, it was easy for me to grab your video when I when I spoke your name. No. And slide me something in there to show who you is so niggas will know, nigga, this is what we got going. You know what I'm saying? This is what we doing over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. You know, and that's that's the part right there. And I'm with you. Like I said, I'm 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 one of them fans. I need my chain, bro. Because yeah. I'm I'm repping money minds. Period. Nah, I got you, man. you know what I'm we saying? Make it happen. I, I'm I'm repping money minds. I'm I'm gonna rep that whole because boss talk. We everywhere. Yeah. So I need to rep it so we can push it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm riding with you, man. Because like I said, we've been down, and you ain't, and you ain't top heavy. That's what I like about you. You just you like me. You want just you and what you doing. Yeah. So I, I put that on with me inside of me because it's just a connection. That's yeah. all. I ain't doing it for everybody, but I'm rocking yeah. with who I'm rocking with. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm rocking with y'all all the way. Too. <laughs> I know that because I you been showing me love, bro. Like, I'm always, nigga. Every time you gonna be like, damn, that nigga always think about me. Somebody had me, hey, yo. How you get on balls, dog? Yeah, I like man, little bro, shit. <laughs> he gotta want you on there. You know what I'm <laughs> They're like, how the hell you get on there? But it's just basically chemistry. Yeah. It's the way God aligned everything, and that's how it happened for me. Man, shit. You know, shout out to John. Rest in peace, man. man. The one that linked us up, man. John is the one that linked us up. That's what make it even more incredible. You know, yeah. he passed away right after he linked us up. It's like, it's like he was just meant to be, like... You know what I'm saying? A bridge for us, like, right. Yeah, because now, he, like, him right there, like, I was, I was cool with him. You know what I'm saying? Real cool with him. Like, he... He was like a friend, uh, uh, man, a fan of my music, all like he wasn't even out there, like bro, like you know, I show him some shit, shake my hand, that shit go hard. He or whatever. loved it, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, rest in peace, John. Rest you know in peace, John. That's, that's who put us together, and we still to this day still linking yeah. up. So I know he watching down on us, saying, you know, seeing what he put together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's hard. You know what I'm saying? For and I ain't even think about that. That's how we linked. You know what I'm saying? And he spent money in this store. He came over and blessed our game and told us about you and told us about one more person too. He had me pull up to the store that day. He, he pulled up there. to the store that day and that's 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 how it go down, man. So I thank God for John, man. I thank no. God that he linked us up and like I said, I'm getting my chain. I'm rocking with Money Minds. I'm going to put my Boss Talk chain on with it. Yeah. Matter of fact, I'm going to get both of them. I'm going to rock all. Oh, that's what yeah. I'm rocking. Yeah. Yeah, and that, that's Texas, man. Nah, for real, and, I, man. and that's where I'm going with it. And I'm going to write your boy. Me and I'm going to get his address yeah, for you. Send his address to me. I'm going to let him know I'm getting my chain, nigga. So don't even trip. I'm with you. Don't if it's press going down in the in, for the for the essays. I'm a part of that. You know Yo, what I'm saying? Man. But it go through y'all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's the way sure. it's rocking. That's what we doing, man. Yo, Thank man. you so much, man. I love you, bro. Like I said, it love to the end. Period. Yo. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man. Listen, man. Y'all gotta check out these clips, man. My boy, my friend, Brown, Money Minds ENT. Check out the next clip that's coming after this. I know you watched the full interview, but check the clips out coming. It's going to be crazy. Yeah, man. Hey, go tap in with me. Brown Money Minds. I just dropped a video uh, with D-Baby and Mexican OT. Fuck it. Go look it up, man. And just tap in because I'm going to keep working. Y'all finna see me back do these videos. And I'm stepping my game up. So, shit. You know what I'm saying? It's going down. Dang it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101 where the bosses talk. And we out. Now we out. You know what I mean?